Hi everyone, Kelly Boss here, and today we are going to learn how to make this darling pacifier clip, and I call today's segment Sustainable Sewing. Let's get started. You want to start with a piece of fabric. You can even use remnants of fabric or scraps of fabric that you may have. And another way to really have fun with this is for keepsake is to maybe use an old um, garment that you have and upcycle it. Maybe a, a shirt or a pair of jeans and upcycle it, a lightweight pair of denim. You also need a clip. This here is a um, clip usually used for suspenders and basil buyers. You can find this at your local craft store or online. And you can look them under pacifier clips. I'm sure they'll come up. And this is a no pattern class. So you just want to make a rectangle. And we will open up this fabric here. And I have a few scraps already waiting because when I opened up my fabric, I said, oh, look at these. They're already waiting. So if you have, you know, your, your scraps, this is a great scrap buster tutorial. I'm definitely making binkies with those. But let me go ahead and show you how to cut this out. I also am using my tailor chalk here, and I have a ruler. If you do not have a grid ruler, that is just fine. Use a standard ruler. We will measure this out to 4 inches wide by 13 inches long. All right? So let me make sure we're in frame. Here we go. 4 inches. Here's my 4 inches wide and the 13 and here's my ruler my ruler has markings on it so i'm just going to run it down to 13. so here's my 13 and i already know i'm on my four because i've measured it out here and i'll come down to 13. now if you want the binky a little longer you just go ahead and make make it a little bit longer right there it's all customizable that's what's so great about sewing you can make it the way you the way you want it so there's my rectangle and I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it out right here you just want to take your time going right through and getting it into a nice rectangle it's really important to get it into a nice size rectangle because as you start uh, putting putting it together it'll make your life easier you won't be trying to force it into um, a shape all right so when sewing it makes it a lot easier if your cuts are even uh, straight and you won't feel like you're struggling so much um, once you get to the machine. So there's our rectangle. Now you want to begin with the right side facing down, the wrong side facing up, and that is the side of the fabric that the world will see. Hi there, welcome to Learn to Sew with Kelly Boss, and today we are going to make this darling pacifier clip. And let's get started. I call today's segment Sustainable Sewing because the items that we are going to be making are great ways to sustain yourself. Use your gifts and you can make some money along the way. So what we, our goal is, is we're going to make a rectangle. And a rectangle that's 4 inches long uh, and 13 inches, 13 inches long and 4 inches wide. All right, so here's my piece of fabric here if you are a scrap buster and you know that you have all your scraps hanging around from other pieces you can definitely use that even if you have the um, salvage edge and it's fine because that's going to be hidden away and just for the sake of the video of measuring I have a piece of tailor's chalk here and I have my um, ruler and this is a grid ruler so it helps you see all the way through um, you can just use a standard ruler if you do not have that you don't have to get all fancy fancy with this and I'm running it even here on this edge. Here's my four inch line and here's my 13 inch line. So I'm just going to take my chalk and run a line straight like that. And come down right here, you see me. And now I have my rectangle already made and to be cut out. And then you cut and just take your time and making sure that you have a nice size a nice um, even rectangle one of the things in sewing that is really important if you're using a pattern or no pattern is that you really want to make sure that your cutting is to the to the number or to the marking because it will make your life a lot easier once you get on to the sewing machine all right so I only need half of this because I did cut mine on the fold so I will go ahead and just cut this in half and if you didn't cut yours on the fold that's fine. You um, have one piece, but trust me, it won't go to waste because we will be making binky clips for, for 
a few babies. So now we have our rectangle. You want to take your, your rectangle. This is the right side of the fabric. This is the side that the world will see. This is the wrong side of the fabric. You want the right side of the fabric facing down. And now you want to fold everything in half. This is a great way for you to make sure that things are lined up and cut, e cut evenly. Just makes life a lot easier. I am using an iron during this tutorial. You do not need to use an iron. Um, but I am using an iron. One, because my fabric was a little wrinkly and it helped um, get everything nice and smooth. And also it, um, it's a great way to save, it saves time. All right? But you can definitely use your pens. So here's my line. That just helps me to keep everything even. And I'm taking one part of this fabric and I'm folding it up to the line, just like that. All right. And then I'll take my iron and press that down. This is how I'm keeping my rectangle in its right shape. Top part, folding it down to meet the other part. Here we have it right there, making everything even. Now, this is the perfect way for you to see that this is coming along nice rectangle. Now we're going to make this an even smaller rectangle. And there you have it. That's the hardest part of the project right there. <laughs> that was it, my friends. That was it. All right. Nice and pressed. So you see the benefit of pressing because now everything is right the way I need it to be. And you can see I have a couple of binkies that have just been sitting here waiting for me to finish those up as well. So you can go ahead and just cut, 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 iron, 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 and do these all day long. <laughs> um, this one here is a scrap of fabric and notice what I'm doing because now I'm not going to pull my ruler back out again I have a piece of cut fabric right here right so I'm just going to go ahead and make that even and I've already measured it so I knew it's pretty much so the four inches wide right so these are how, this is how you sew continuously and keep moving now let's fold this up and this one here is a great way to use those salvage edges in, in your scrap buster because, you know, those of us that sew know we really don't use our salvage edge in sewing at all. Um, in some instances, you can. But this is a great way to use those scraps because, you see, there it is. It's hidden within, right? So now we don't have to throw away any fabric. And there's another piece. Fold it down. There it is right there. And then you can just keep making these. I mean, you can just spend the day, if you like, just making the, the straps um, for a great assembly. That didn't fold too easy for me, so I opened it back up just a tad. And then folding it over. And see? So you can just sit around and just make these straps on your first round. And then after that, you can sew the straps. And then after that, you can put the Velcro. And then after that, you can put the clips. And then before you know it, you just have a bunch of binkies, uh, binky clips. And they make for great gifts. So look at right there. Boom, boom, boom. And I already have three clips done. Let's get to our machine. All right, so before we head over to that machine, let's just go ahead and finish it all the way up. We have our Velcro pieces here, right? One side is the, the soft felt side, the other side is the hook side. Now you can go ahead and cut this out to whatever size that you like. Um, you will make many of these and you'll know which size you want them to be. But as long as they fit the, um, the binky itself. You can make it a little smaller if you like, you can make it a little bigger. Um, and what you'll begin to do is you have your fabric here. And oh, let me start with the one I was actually working on in the video. So I am going to take this here and I want to get rid of these raw edges. Remember we spoke about the raw edges and how they fray? We definitely don't want any fraying pieces here. So when we stitch down, we will then come after that and we'll tuck that under just like that. Getting rid of that raw edge. Maybe a half an inch, just a little bit. You take your Velcro and you place that right over it and now you've just hidden all of that. Put a clip there, it works as your extra hand and look how nice that looks. When you go to the machine we will stitch all the way around our Velcro. We'll take our second piece of Velcro and we'll place it about an inch apart from the last Velcro. Use your pins or your clips and hold it in place. And now let's test. Oh, and it's working. Beautiful. That there was half of it done. Down this end, we have our clip. There's your clip right here. You want to place the decorative side facing down, right flat down. And you will take your other end of your strap 
and place it right through that loop and fold. Now this too has a raw edge and we do not want to have any raw edges out so we're just going to go ahead and we will tuck this under as well. Just a little tuck and make it fold like paper and then press that down. You want to use your clip or your pen to hold it in place. It doesn't have to be so close to the clip edge because then you would need to change your foot and this is a quick project and there's no need to change to a zipper foot to get close okay so there we have it we have everything all ready for the machine when we go to our machine we're going to make we're going to, de we're going to deconstruct everything and then we'll make a stitch on both sides which will hold our binky clip in place then we'll go around and we'll sew both our velcro and then we'll take a straight stitch right here binky clip done let's head to our machine so we're at our machine and I've taken everything off and apart and I'm just working with that one strap, the one uh, strap that we first made. And I'm folding it, um, making sure it's folded over and placing it underneath the machine, lowering my pressure foot. Now, when you're sewing, there are different parts of your machine that you will find as gauge and rulers. You know, it might just be this screw and it might be the feed dogs, right? So for this case, I'm coming in and I am my eye is focused right here on the inner part of this foot for my line because I need to sew close to the edge. So I'm lowering my needle and then I will go ahead and make my first few stitches here. And you're just going to stitch a straight stitch all the way down. This is the perfect project for honing those straight stitches, but not only honing straight stitches, but honing in on those um, edge stitching. Edge stitching um, definitely is comes along with practice and cut. No need to um, back stitch here because we are going to tuck those ends under and I will repeat it on the other side just so it looks uh, uniform and then I'll continue on the other side. Right on the edge. Take your time all the way down. Slow it down and clear. All right, there's the first stitches, look at that. And let's work on the Velcro again. So there's the, um, let's see if we can cut off those extra threads right there. And now you just wanna tuck that under, just like that, just a little bit, as much as you need. Then place the Velcro right on top. Use your clips if you need to. Take a peek on the other side, make sure it looks good. Lay it back down and then begin stitching. Again, I'm staying right on my first line where I was sewing for the first time, keeping it really close to the edge of the Velcro. When working with Velcro, you do wanna sew close to the edge because that's how the Velcro stays in place. If this had been like a bag or something that uh, needed a little bit more reinforcement, you would have done a utility stitch, which is you would have placed an X in the center of the Velcro. So if you look at some things, maybe that you have a bag or um, tote bags and such. They are classic for having utility stitches and that's just a reinforced stitch. And there's our first piece of Velcro. We'll go ahead and add the second piece of Velcro just like that, leaving a space and we'll stitch again. Right down over it. Do a little back stitch. And then after we're done with this, there's our pivot. A pivot, you're leaving your needle into the into the fabric, lifting your foot and turning. The reason pivots are um, important is because it allows you to to continuously keep sewing without breaking your stitch pattern and you do not need to back stitch to restart. So there's my pivot and coming down. This is really focused because you're making sure that you're staying on the edge, catching the Velcro, catching the fabric. And there we have it. And there's our Velcro piece right there. Look at that, already on. And now we'll move right on down to our uh, clip, making sure that the decorative side is down and the clip side is up. And then you just slide it right on, just like that. Tuck under your edge. See how I'm just tucking that under just like that, making it nice and neat. I'm just rolling it over and folding that other end down. And go ahead and cut off any loose threads an hour later. Totally up to you. <laughs> there it is, folded under. Lowering it down, making sure everything is in there neatly. Take your time, a lot of layers here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and back stitch and make sure I clean that edge up. So that it doesn't come undone. 
and then I'll back stitch again. That's a nice back stitch. And if you want to, you can reinforce it a few times. And without even cutting off our clips yet, I mean our threads, we have a baby clip. So let's take a peek at this. All right, and there you have it, my friends. We are just gonna cut off the last loose threads right here that are in the way. And I would highly suggest you, if you're sewing, get yourself a little small nippers because they really work better than trying to use your large cutting shears because that's the best way to cut your fabric, uh, make a little hole. So use something smaller. And there you have it, your baby, your, your binky clip. And let's snatch this binky right off of the other one that I made earlier. And you just place your binky on. I like to place her toys on here as well because when she's playing or, you know, the toys, that's the pickup game with children. You're just picking them up, but not when you slide those toys on the end of them. And here you go. There's your binky clip. It slides right onto the baby. And there you have it. And you can make these. You can sell these. They're great for gifts. And this is Kelly Boss's sustainable sewing class. I hope that you enjoyed this um, video. So, so, so most important, have fun. Stay safe. Thanks for hanging out with Kelly Boss.